that can haunt somebody forever. She wants to hurt me like I hurt her. You will feel what I feel. Kier had an interesting challenge because from the beginning of the movie, Daniel is behind the eight ball. Daniel is put under house arrest for invading the privacy of a girl at his school. He's just trying to get to the bottom of what would create this obsession with this girl. You know, Kier as Daniel is such an amazing fit. He brings an authenticity to the role. Abby is really in love with Daniel, although they're best friends. They grew up together and everyone kind of knew they were going to end up starting to date, especially around senior year, and I think they sort of knew that as well. And then out of nowhere, she gets thrown this curveball. Stella is the emotional mirror for the movie. We've all fallen for someone and, and, and had it not been reciprocated. With Abby, we needed someone who was able to be entirely relatable to the audience. She brings a vulnerability to, to Abby that's also very believable as well. For me, I just need to put myself in a certain place, and I need to be that person and, and be with it and be in it. You have any idea how long Abby worked on those stars? Well, I play Kevin, and he's basically Daniel's best friend. Like, you can tell the two of them have been boys since day one. Kevin can communicate in, in a way that the other characters cannot. It really bothers him, I feel like, a little bit more even than Abby when Daniel starts to kind of go off the deep end. He knows what kind of person Daniel is. He knows what kind of dynamic they used to have and it's just not the same anymore. He has a very in infectious energy about him. You know, he, he, he's like the guy that you want to be friends with. All of these kids have been working since they were young and grew up on set, and you just can learn so much, so much working with them. 